Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to talk about when you can and cannot edit the segments of a circle in SketchUp. So I'm going to go ahead and say that I assume at this point uh, you know enough about SketchUp or, or you're familiar with SketchUp. SketchUp's uh, circles and arcs are made of segments. Um, we'll talk about that real briefly, but there are certain times in your modeling where you can actually change increase or decrease either the number of segments or the radius of the circle or arc um, after it's drawn. So you can set it at first, create it, and then you can come back and make modifications to it. There's certain geometry though when you go in and create it or add it, uh, it's going to prevent that from being able to be changed. And we're going to talk about what those what those blockers are right now. All right, so we're starting with an empty model here. We got we got nothing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just tap C and draw in a default circle. So you can see the default down here is 24 sides. I'm just gonna click and pull this out to some arbitrary dimension. And there we go, got a circle. All right, I'm gonna hit A and I'm gonna do the same with an arc. I'm gonna click here, then I'm gonna click here and I'm just gonna pull an arc out. And there we go. So now I have a circle and an arc. Default for a circle is 24 sides. Default for an arc is 12 sides. That's what I've got drawn here. Now, if I come in here and pick on the arc, say, over here under Entity Info, I can actually see both the radius and the number of segments. And I can come in here and I can edit them, right? So I can come here and say, I actually want six sides. I'm going to hit Enter. It'll update that. Same thing for the radius. I can come in here. It's whatever, three foot, seven, three quarter. So I'm going to say I want it to be three foot even. Hit Enter. It'll shrink that, perfect. If I come over here, when I pick a circle, I do have to be careful because if I pick the face, um, it's just gonna tell me the, the square measurement of that face. If I wanna change the geometry of the actual circle itself, I do have to pick that edge, the outside edge. There it comes up, tells me it's 24 sides and it's 12 foot, or two foot six. I'm gonna go in and say, okay, I want this to be 12 sides. You can see enter, drops it down and I want it to be three feet even, so I'll just triple click, three foot, enter, and there we go. So you can see, pretty easy editing. Now, there are certain points where things are gonna happen here um, where I have to change, where I can't change that anymore. Um, there's some changes I can make that will be okay. So if I come down here and I go, um, I'm just gonna, draw a couple edges to close this arc in, I can still select the arc at this point and change that. So I can go back up to 12, enter, and I can even change the radius. So if I change it to 24 inches, it'll shrink down and the edges will pull along with it. So there are certain times where I can still, whoops, I meant to go three foot. I'm gonna do a couple times. Things got too crazy there. Um, so I can go through and I can make changes. I can always like just show before whether this face is in here or not. If I delete that, click right here, I can still come in and I can change that value. Um, yeah, so basic changing of that geometry from the start. Yeah, I can edit that as much as I want. Now, certain things are gonna immediately prevent me from editing. So for example, here's a big one, push pull. If I push either of these up and come in here and select the edge, I can change the radius, so I can change the size, but I can't change the number of segments. Same thing for the arc. I can come in here and change the radius, but I can't change the number of segments. So that's one thing. That happens, that affects it. Now, the cool thing is if I come in here and I get rid of this geometry, right, so I delete that, I'll get rid of all that, delete that, same thing over on the circle, if I delete that and drag it back down, so now it's just the shape on the ground again. Watch this, if I pick this, I'm back to editing both this, the radius and the segments. So I can change them again uh, after that. So it's not a permanent breaking. <laughs> I can go in there, I can modify a little bit, you know, I can I do a push pull, bring it back down, it still works again. Now, let's show some other things. So one, one thing here is scale is a big one. So if I have this circle selected and I come in and I click scale and I make this smaller. Watch watch my, my UI over here when I let go, ready? Let go, it updates it. So it's still 24 sides, 
but it changed the radius because I actually changed the scale and it's going to watch that. So it does update it and changing the scale does not prevent me from changing the number of segments. All right, now here's a fun one. So let's take a line and I'm going to draw it all the way down here like this. And then over on the arc, I'm going to draw a line from right here and just come out here. So what I've done effectively is broken both my circle and my edge with new edges or, or my circle and my arc with new edges. So if I look at these two, so these are two separate things. You see what they're listed as in the, in the properties over here is as an arc. So in this arc, I'm going to tell it to go uh, 20 sides on one side. And then the other side, I'm going to take pick on it and say, drop this one down to six. And I can do that. So this is still the geometry of the circle, the, the radius of the circle. But now I have two different number of, of uh, segments. So over here, same thing, I'm going to pick this one up to 10, enter, and I'm going to grab this one and drop that down to 3, enter, and I can do that. Now here's the fun part. Watch what happens when I delete this edge and this edge. When I pick this, it says, oh yeah, I recognize that, that's a circle. And look at my number of segments. It tells me that my 20 plus my 6 is 26. They're not the same though. It's kind of cool. So if I was to come in here and adjust this, say I was to take this back to 24, it goes back, it evenly distributes. Same thing with my arc. When I pick the arc and it's 13, again, 10 segments here and then another three here. If I go put that back to 12, it's gonna evenly distribute that, put it back to 12, same thing. Um, that is really cool, that's fun. I actually did not know that that happened until I started making this video. Um, because I'm a fan of pushing it, <laughs> I did this. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you exactly what I tested. So if I draw something like that, and uh, let's say I do something like edit the size. So let's grab this and make this a I don't know um, 40 inch radius. Enter, and then this one will make a 12 inch radius. Okay, that was extreme. Let's let's go a little let's go a little tamer than that. We'll go to 24. So now I have two different arcs here. If I come in here and I break this, they don't heal. That stays as two separate arcs. Same thing over here. If I come grab this one, this is now three foot six. I drop this down to three foot even. If I erase that. And now have two separate arcs. It doesn't heal back together. If I drop this one down to three foot, even though the same, that original break is too much for it. So now it's separate pieces. It will still individually. I can still come in and and change either one of these. So I come into this side and say drop that down to six segments but it's not going to heal back up with the other piece uh, and you know become one piece ever again. I broke it. That's that's just, that's an all the way broken piece. So um, you, I'm ending with this ugly, ugly mess here. I'm gonna have to make sure the thumbnails pulled from the clean circle and arc that I had before and not this mess, but there you go. That is a look at the things you can do to both circle and arc geometry, when you can edit, when you can't, and when it will heal itself and when it, it won't. You know, I really like it when we make videos and the final thing that's on the screen is like the big win instead of here's what to do to make an ugly thing. Um, but hey, that's, that's reality. Sometimes stuff gets ugly. That's why Command Z is so nice or Control Z. Undo is such a good one. Um, but there you go. I've, we've had lots of questions come up on the forums about that. Like, uh, people are asking all the time when, you know, why when I do this, I can edit it. When I do this, I can't. And that was pretty much a list of the things that I could think of that would make something like that uneditable, uh, an arc or a circle number of sides. Um, yeah, if you like that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week around here, and you'll be notified of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, though, 
Leave us a comment down below. Did I miss something? Is there a, a, a specific thing you can do and then go back and still edit those? Uh, if so, leave that down in the comments. And if you have another idea or a question about SketchUp that you're not sure about, leave that down in the comments as well. We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.